Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Welcome back to my channel, Hi Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting question. We know that x, y equal to 1, y, z equal to 2, x times z equal to 3, and we need to find the thumb, x plus y plus z. Right now we can easily pause the video and write the solution in the comments below, and then we will check our answer, so it will be really interesting. So x, y equal to 1. Let's call this equation, for example, this is the first, first equation. A, y times z is our second equation, and x times z, this is our third equation. As the first step, let's multiply first equation times the second one and let's divide by the third one. So what I mean right now, we're going to multiply first equation times second equation and we're going to divide it by the third equation. Okay, let's see what will happen. So we have this, this combination. So first equation xy times second equation yz and we're going to divide it by third equation x times z. x times z. Right now, what are we talking about? If we're talking about coefficients, if we're talking about constant, x, y equal to 1, times y, z, y, z equal to 2, and we divide it by x times z, x times z equal to 3. This is a third equation. And right here on the right side, equal to 2 third, but what do we have on the left side? On the left side, we can easily cancel our x from here, x from here, z from here, z from here, and as a result, we have only our y times y. y times y equal to y square, so we have y square equal to uh, 2 third, so y square equal to 2 over 2 over 3. And this is our first first expression that we really need. As a second step, let's let's consider our second combination. So let's multiply our first equation times the third one and let's divide by the second one. So first equation, we're going to multiply by the third equation, first by the third one, and we're going to divide it by mm, the second one. So let's consider, let's try to solve this, uh, this combination. First equation, x, y, first expression, sorry, yeah? times the third one, xz times xz, and we divide it by x times uh, second expression, so y times z. We divide it by y times z. If you're talking about values, x, y equal to 1, x, z equal to 3, and we divide it by y, z. y, z equal to, equal to 2. Okay, right now, what do we have on the left side? On the left side, we can easily cancel our y, our y from here, our z, our z from here, and we have only x times x, so we have only x square on the left side. On the right side, we have 3 half, so x square equal to 3 half. Okay, really great, we have x square equal to 3 half. And the last combination, let's multiply in our numerator, let's multiply our second equation by the third equation, yeah? Second by the third one, and let's divide it by the first one, okay? By the first one. As a result, what do we have? We have a second equation, a second expression, yz, so yz times xz times the third one, so xz, and we divide it by xy, yeah? By the first one, xy. Right now, if you're talking about where values, uh, yz equal to 2, xz equal to 3, and we divide it by xy by 1. From here, on the left side, we can easily cancel our x and x, our y and y, and we have only z, z square. So on the right side, we have only the z square equal to 2 times 3, 6, 6 divided by 1 equal to 6, so z square equal to equal to 6. Right now, a lot of students might be asking, why do we find these squares, y square, z square, x square, because we need to find x plus y plus z. And right now, I write uh, this formula. So these are formula from school. This formula looks like that. When we have x plus y plus z, if you're talking about this formula, if we, if we raise this expression to the second power, this is equal to x square plus y square plus z square and plus 2 times xy plus yz plus yz and plus xz plus x xz. Okay, we have this, this is our basic formula, okay? If you're talking about x plus y to the second power, we're gonna have everything the same thing but without z, okay? So this is a basic formula but with the three variables, not x plus y to the second power, but with z, okay? x plus y plus z. So I really hope you understand it, I really hope you you learn this formula. And right now, let's look closely, what do we know, okay? We know x square, y square, z square. We have x square, y square, z square, so this part we know. What about x, y, y, z, x, z? This is expression that we had in the beginning, x, y, y, z, x, z, so we know everything in parentheses right here, and we have x plus y plus z, so we have expression that we exactly need to find. Of course, we have it to the second power, but then we can easily find it without any problems. So let's do this, so x plus y plus z to the second power equal to x square 3 half, 3 half, 
plus y square plus y square where do we have it we have two third right here so two third and plus z square z square equal to six okay six plus two times x y y z x z so we have one plus two plus three okay so we have one plus two plus three let's simplify it step by step this is basic algebraic manipulations right here so we have x plus y plus z to the second power equal to first of all let's uh, leave it like that so we have three half plus two third what do we have right here plus six and plus we have two times uh, one plus two plus three so we have three plus three we have six and plus twelve okay plus plus 12. Right now let's add right here these two, uh, let's add these two fractions. So we have x plus y and plus z to the second power equal to, first of all our common denominator we're gonna have 6, okay, in our numerator we're gonna have 3 times 3 right here, 3 times 3 plus plus 2 times 2, 2 times 2. And of course right here we're gonna add it, so 6 plus uh, 12 equal to equal to 18 okay 18 okay right now let's simplify this real quick we're gonna have x plus y plus z to the second power equal to 3 times 3 we have 9 9 plus 4 we have 13 so we have 13 over 6 13 over 6 and plus 18 right here we're gonna have the same uh, common denominator we're gonna have um, 6 yeah and we're gonna have 13 times 1 right here plus 18 times plus 18 times 6 plus 18 18 times 6 which is equal to so we have 13 plus 18 times 6 equal to 108 so right here we have 108 108 yeah, and we divide it by by 2 as a result we can write of a not like a final answer this is our next step so x plus y plus z to the second power equal to what do we have we have uh 121 over 6 yeah so we have 121 21 over 6 but this is we really need to find x plus y plus z but we have x plus y plus z to the second power so when we apply square root as a result we can write that x plus y plus z plus z equal to square root of 121 over over six let's simplify this expression because according to a basic property let's write this uh, value right here so we have square root of uh, 121 so square root of 121 over six according to a basic property when we have square root of a over b we can easily split it like square root of a over square root of b when we have uh, division and multiplication it works with division and multiplication and in our case we can split it like square root of 121 over square root of 6 but square root of 121 this is our table case this is equal to to 11 so we have 11 over square root of 6 and for for better understanding a lot of a lot of teachers a lot of students multiplying our numerator by square root of 6 and our denominator by square root of 6 okay when we multiply it by square root of 6 because basically it changes nothing but in our denominator we're gonna have 6 only 6 and in our numerator we have 11 square root of 6 and this is our answer 11 square root of 6 mm, over 11 square root of 6 over 6 this is our final answer to this question so let's write it mm, right here so our answer our answer so x plus y and plus z equal to 11 square root of 6 over over 6 this is our final answer to this question so a thumb x plus y plus z equal to 11 square root of 6 Mm, over six and this is my solution to this question so i really hope you understand it i really hope you understand my uh, my solution so we we can easily split this solution by three parts the first part we, we find uh, squares y square x square z square second step extremely important is to to find out what what formula we're going to use in our question and this formula is the best one because right here we know everything we know we have the sum of squares right here and we have a thumb of these combinations x y y z x x z and then with the few basic manipulations we have our our final answer don't be confused about this formula x plus y plus z to the second power because when we have x plus y uh, to the second power we're going to have absolutely the same thing right here we have the third value so we have um, more combinations if we have for example uh, x plus y plus z plus for example k you're going to have a lot of a lot of expressions you're going to have x y z k and a lot of these uh, all possible combinations so this is a basic formula this is 
extremely great uh, to know this formula. And I really hope you understand my explanation. I really hope you learned something new, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of questions on my YouTube channel, a lot of a lot of challenges every day, a lot of different Olympiad question, entrance examination questions, school questions. And I really hope I really hope you enjoy it. So if you still have que any question to this um, to this part, you can write a question in the comments below, and you can easily leave your response. What do you think about this about this solution? Maybe you uh, you solve this question with me and your answer is the same as mine it's also it's also really great to to have the same answer and it's it's it's, it's great i guess yeah so thank you for your time take care of yourself have a great day see you in the next videos